Gary Johnson and his wife Becky are both Boeing machinists. They're ready to get back to work, but say that won't happen until Boeing comes up with a better offer. We need to get this wrapped up, back to work and producing aircraft. I really hope that they come with truly their best and final this time and not, I just feel like they're jerking us around. Talks between the union and Boeing stalled after machinists voted down the most recent contract offer a week ago. This week, Acting Secretary of Labor Julie Sue came back to Seattle to try to broker a deal for the second time. I think it's a necessary step at this point. Uh, all the help that we can get to get them face to face like they are negotiating yesterday and today is extremely important. The financial situation of Boeing keeps getting worse every single day. That's one of the reasons why Thomas Gilbert, a finance professor at UW, says we're seeing the federal government take on the role of negotiator. It is critical to many parts of the government's, from a defense side and a space side, but also from a commercial aircraft. This is, this is a key piece of the U.S. economy. Large. The core issue for many machinists is the demand that Boeing bring back a defined pension. The company says it won't budge on that. They need to get creative and they need to bring in something substantial. Gilbert says there are ways Boeing could provide retirement security without bringing back its pension, such as increasing a 401k match. If I were a machinist, I would want a bigger match going forward. I put 5% of my salary, you put 7.5% in terms of match, or whatever the number we can, we can come up with. Last week, Boeing reported that it lost $6 billion in its third quarter, and it's now selling shares to boost its liquidity to stay afloat. Joyce? So, Bridget, I mean, the question is, how long can the company go on with its financial picture looking so bleak? Well, Joyce, those Q3 results show that Boeing has about $10 billion left in cash. So selling these shares will help, experts say. But given the company's debt and how much experts say they're losing because of this strike, they say that that could run out pretty quickly. Bridget Chavez reporting live for us. Thank you.